Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of HPS podcast. Today we will be diving into a field that is not just futuristic but the way we think, the way we interact, the way we even uh, foresee our future has been changed according to this particular field. Yes, you guessed it right. Artificial intelligence it is. We as adults might have come across a few definitions and uh, classifications of artificial intelligence but what about the generation that actually has to deal with it do they find these robots their friend are these robots a significant part of their lives now to throw light on this we have with us today miss nisha kundu IT expert of the school along with two little hansarians parv and parth of class 4 they will be throwing the light on how artificial intelligence has changed the aspect of education trust me from transforming classroom to redefining the way students learn and teachers teach it is a game changer in the academic landscape so buckle up Stay tuned and let's embark on this enlightening journey together. Artificial intelligence is changing the world in more ways one could ever imagine. Even the Google and Alphabet CEO Mr. Sundar Pichai has said that AI is more profound than both fire and electricity. AI automation has already impacted our lives in many ways. Nowadays we live in a world where our toasters are more smarter than us and even our calculators have an opinion but have you ever paused and give it a thought that what a 9 year old is thinking when we are having more conversations with siri than with them how do they feel when they see a robot are robot their friends or superheroes for them what about google is it like genie granting them wishes Well, let's try to find answers of many such questions today. Hello everyone, welcome to HPS podcast. I am Nisha, your host for today's episode, joined by two very young and talented Hansarians. One is the cutest, the other one is the smartest. My great four superstars, Parv Goyal and Parth Sathi. Uh let's try to explore this world of AI from their eyes. Uh, welcome boys welcome to hps podcast uh, we'll start with you par why don't you tell us about yourself hello i'm par i'm 9 years old my favorite subject is science and i love to explore things about space wow i want to become a rocket scientist when i grow up you want to be a rocket scientist amazing hello i am parth i am also 9 years old I love reading. My favorite book is The Famous 5 written by Annette Mary Blyton. I want to become a physicist when I grow up. Oh, so we have a future rocket scientist and future physicist with us. Okay. So uh, see the entire world is talking about artificial intelligence nowadays. But you know, I want to ask you like have you ever heard this term before artificial intelligence? Yes, ma'am, I have heard it. Okay. Uh, what do you understand by this term ai is like human cyborgs cyborgs yes okay they think and work like humans but they are actually robots okay what about you parth what do you think ai is ai is like a robot friend that can help you in daily life like when i play games on my tablet it shows up it shows more games wow amazing so for one it's a uh, human cyborg for other one robots uh, ai is like robo friends uh, you know uh, artificial intelligence is when machines or computers they think and they work like humans right and even nowadays machines they also keep on learning and growing so it's not just us humans who are learning and changing with times it's ai as well right uh, so my next question for you par is like are you using any ai related tools Yes, I use many AI related tools. Okay. My favorite one is Bard. Okay. I use it to study for my exams. Amazing. I also use some other tools like voice assistant. And voice assistants. Can you tell us uh, what voice assistants is? It's like the robot that is 
inbuilt in machines okay that recognizes our voice and gives us a answers according to it okay so if i ask answer in hindi he'll answer in hindi and if i ask answer in english he'll answer in english in the same language yes so they understand our, our language also yes any example alexa oh wow okay uh, uh part are you using any ai related tools yes i use many ai related tools my favorite one is chat gpt because i use it sometimes to do my homework so you use chat gpt to do your homework but uh, do you think it is okay to use ai for your homework ma'am i think it is okay to use ai for homework because ai can give us information easily okay so you can easily get the information with the help of ai okay uh yes par what about you no i don't think that we should use ai for, for doing our homework mm-hmm. ai is like having a handy tool but we should not entirely depend on it if we do if we do not do our work ourselves and depend on ai uh, it will reduce the creativity in a creative mind but if we do our work ourselves we will know how to do it properly So on this I'll agree with the par I think instead of using chat gpt you should directly ask your teacher because once your concepts are clear uh, next time you'll no, not be needing chat gpt for your homework right agree yes, okay uh, so what's your favorite uh, thing about ai what do you like about ai the most ma'am my favorite thing about ai is that it has answers for everything it has answers for everything yeah just like my mother <laughs> so your your mom has answers for everything yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh what about you? Like what's your favorite thing about AI? My favorite thing about AI is Emoji Scavenger Hunt game. It's a game which is very interesting. Okay. Uh it gives you a emoji that is normally present in the daily households. We have to find it and we have to put it in front of the camera. Yeah. Seems like an interesting game. Yes, it is very yeah. interesting. And you can also try Quick Draw. It Quick is draw. also another game. Like in this, in okay. that game, you should try it once. Okay. Like in that machine gives you the option, and then you have to draw the picture, and then computer will try to identify the images in the next twenty minutes, twenty seconds. Mum, that also seems very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now I have uh, an interesting question for you. Ready for that? Okay. So imagine imagine you are having this conversation with a robot instead of me how would you feel about that it might be interesting i would like to experience that you want you you like to experience that yes okay but but i think it will not be fun because uh, because the robots and are and humans don't have a bonding connection robots might be good at giving uh, information but they cannot understand when we need extra help and when uh, when and how to understand our feelings i also agree with you part i also think that we will not get the human bonding that we have with our teacher and that might not be able to teach us very well wow that's an amazing thought like robots they can give you information but they can never replace the feelings right yes ma'am okay so uh, my next question for you is like if you ever got a chance to invent something with the help of ai right uh, what would you do what would you invent i would invent flying cars flying cars okay yes, seems ma'am. interesting ma'am they will reduce the traffic on the road and they will split the traffic into two parts oh. air traffic and road traffic that will reduce the traffic jams that means if someone has a emergency he can he or she can reach any place very quickly this can only happen if some changes are made like air traffic control stations okay. for the public this can only be made if the government collaborates with private companies and the public oh so you have an entire plan ready for it yes ma'am <laughs> okay what about you path what would you invent Ma'am, I would invent a disaster forecast uh, so that we can predict the upcoming disasters. Like, if we had a disaster forecast before COVID nineteen, then we could find a way to make the outbreak shorter and how to um, get a vaccine easier. Wow, very thoughtful of you too. Ma'am, what about you? What will you invent? What about me? 
uh well uh, like right now i could think uh, uh, i would like to invent clean up bots like uh, robots uh, that will help to keep our environment and our oceans clean ma'am something more interesting <laughs> so you want something more interesting yes how about i replace you with the student bots then they will follow my instructions well no ma'am we will <laughs> listen your instructions okay so uh, moving on to the next segment i am going to give you a situation and you have to give answers according to that situation right uh so uh, imagine uh, we'll start with you per per imagine you have a robo friend like both of you the situation is for both of you so you have a robot friend uh, so what will you call him and why i will call him perk you'll call him perk yes and why is that so because uh, when i made my youtube channel it was the name that got me 200 subscribers okay but how come you have a youtube channel you are only 9 years old actually that's my father's youtube channel but i help him out with the videos okay amazing that was your father's youtube channel yes and what's the correct age for a child kid to have a youtube channel or any social media account 13 13 right and that too under the parent supervision right yes okay my next question is for you only par Okay. If you could uh, give any task to your robot, what task would you assign him? I would tell him to clean my room. It's like a maze in there. <laughs> so you have a messy room? Uh, no, ma'am. I set it once a week, but it gets spoiled. And if you could teach him any skill, I would teach him to tell jokes. I love jokes. You love jokes? Yes. Uh, we all love jokes. Okay. Uh, moving on to you, Parth. Again, the situation is same. Like you also have a robo friend. What would you call him? Ma'am, I will call him Zephyr because that name Zephyr. sounds cool. Oh, it's a it's a cool name, right? And if you could teach your robot any subject or anything in this world, what would you teach him? Ma'am, I would teach him all the languages in the world wow. so that I can communicate with anyone in the world. Wow, amazing, amazing. Moving on to the next question, uh, like if your robot could teleport you to one place in this world, which place would you like to go? Ma'am I would like to go to North Korea North beca- Korea because it is has the nickname of the impossible country to escape from so, and I will try to escape from there if I cannot escape then I will teleport to USA Hawaii and have a vacation ha huh, so you are going first you are going to try you will try to ex- escape North Korea and then you will have going to have a vacation mm, Ma'am I would also way. like to answer that question okay <laughs> okay answer I would like to visit Tokyo because it has been my f- dream place since I was 5. It's a, it's a beautiful place. Yes ma'am, right? indeed. I would like to end this on a fun note. So uh, if you could teach any dance step to your friend Robo, which dance step would you teach them? Let let's show a little bit. <laughs> Amazing. So that's a wrap for today's episode. I hope you all have enjoyed this discussion uh, with our young Hansurians. See, the world is full with possibilities, and it's the young minds like Parvs and Paths who are going to shape the future of tomorrow. Keep exploring uh, and never stop dreaming. Thank you. Stay tuned for our next episode on decoding spirituality. Oh, oh, oh.